Hello everyone, and on today's Elevator Parts project, we're taking a look at this innovation call station. Let's go ahead and get started. So this call station is quite interesting for the fact that not only do we just have our up and down buttons, but we have a car here and a news light. So these particular buttons, they kind of stick out of the panel a little bit. I can tell this button has not been used as the buttons are really stiff still and feel brand new. This button is in its box, and you can see here the box is in great shape and doesn't even have any holes in it. So you can see it hasn't even been used before. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at it from the inside. Lifting the plate off the box reveals the inside. Here's the box, and you can see the grounding wire inside. On the side here, we've got the information along with a convenient wiring diagram for these buttons. Here's an up close look at the wiring diagram. And looking on the back of the button, we can see our two buttons, which are the white circuit boards, and the only lights, which are the red circuit boards. There's also this seal all the way around, this kind of foam, which helps seal the button, keeping water and dirt out of it. Down here on the very bottom, this would be your grounding wire. So to ground it, you would use this wire that is in the box and connect it to here. As for the buttons, these are your standard innovation buttons and bases, nothing super exciting or really different than what we've seen before. We have our connectors with our common, normally open, normally closed, and lamp pins. And up here on the light boards, you notice we have the pins for the common, normally open, and normally closed but there's no switch, so those are kind of invalid. The voltage for the red boards is six to 15 volts, and then the board up here, the buttons, are 16 to 120 volts. So we should be able to use a nine volt battery to power this entire thing. Now as for lighting it up, obviously we're going to make it where when you press the buttons, the light on the button lights up. But I was thinking we could also have the in-use and car here light. So if you press down, the car here light comes on, and pressing up, the in use light comes on. That way we're utilizing everything that's on the button. So as for wiring, it's pretty straightforward and following the little wiring schematic that is given in the inside of the box, this is a fairly simple wire. So we'll be using nine volts for this project. For the buttons, they're fairly simple. We'll put our positive into the common pin. Then we'll use a little jumper wire from the normally open to the lamp on this part. And then the negative will go on the lamp of the other side. Now that layout is going to be done for each of the buttons. As for the lights, I'm going to jump a wire from the normally open pin to the lamp. So kind of like what we're doing over here for the lamp, except we're gonna bring another wire up here and then connect our lamps to the negative. So here's my wiring and it's pretty simple. So like I said before, we have our positive nine volts coming in to our two commons of our buttons. From there, on the normally open of the switch, I connected a little jumper to the lamps of each button. So there's a little jumper to this lamp and a jumper to this lamp. And then I also jumped another wire to the lamps of these to the corresponding one that I wanted. So down for this one, up for this one. And then I connected all of the lamp pins on the other side to my negative. And in doing so, when I press the down, the light comes on and car here comes on. And pressing up, the in use light comes on and the up arrow comes on. And when I press them both in, everything lights up. So now all that's left to do is just put it back in its box. And now it's back in its box. And you can see it lights up and it looks really awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this short video about wiring this innovation call button. This will be a nice little piece to put into the elevator museum you can play around with. So this is a really interesting and nice looking piece. And now it is wired up and fully functional. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.